Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. Really? Really? Every time? Every time? So as I was saying, I have a big trunk. And it's just light as air. Because... Ooh, there was a lot of... I have it all right here. And I have it all right in here. Okay, first up, a top by Sanctuary. Just a, uh, it's like a decent length top and pretty little sleeves here. Oh, look at the edge. Can you see that? How they're trimmed? Kind of cute. Lightweight. It feels like it might be linen or something. It's got a seam down the front, a double seam. I don't know if you can tell. I can see because the light comes through the fabric. It looks like it might be a good work shirt. I will list the names and sizes and um, prices down below to save time and fabrics. Next one is another little top. Looks like, oh yeah, okay, sleeveless. Okay, now this is a really gauzy fabric. I don't know if you can tell that. The gauze has that, um, what do you call it, texture to it. But look at the neckline. Let me put my hands in there, maybe it'll show a little bit better. Look at the neckline. It's pretty in the front and the back. Very nice. Both of these tops seem very nicely made. This one is by One State. I'm saying that just to help myself when I go back to label it so that I'm able to find it. The next item is the one that I've been waiting to see since the preview and it is a dress. Make sure there's no dog behind me. I don't want to harm any dogs. Isn't it pretty? It's got a very, very full skirt. Isn't that pretty? And it is a navy, it almost looks like denim, but it's a heavy cotton, but it almost looks like denim with a little pink stripe and a light blue stripe. And look at the back. I didn't realize it had this and it's super cute, but when you have um, like shoulder length hair, it's a tough, it's a tough detail. It ties in the back with a big, really big tie. If I were to keep this dress, I might have to rig up another type of closure on the back of it because it'll just be a lump in my, you know, split your hair and be a lump there. But anyway, I think it's just very super cute. Feels great because it's a nice uh, breathable fabric. So, all right, next is a, another one, another dress, and this is Nick and Zoe. Now this is knitted, and I don't just mean like t-shirt knitted. This is all like, like my cardigans are made out of this. It's a little bit, but yet it's not heavy. <laughs> but not all cardigans are heavy. Um, so I don't know how I feel about this one. Well, I guess it'll take a little getting used to and I'll try it on. But I think this is the one that was on sale. See, that's one good thing about Trunk Club is that if it's on sale at Nordstrom's, they offer you that price too. But even on sale, I believe this one was still pretty spendy. It's got a kind of a crazy print. And then at the bottom, it has uh, some brown or not really brown, more like taupe in it. Otherwise, it's mostly black and white. And my chair is really squeaking today. I don't know why. I keep trying to... Uh, there it is. It's not really the chair, it's the back of the chair. So I just won't lean back. All right, and now we have what appears to be just a Caslon t-shirt, I believe. Yes. I took these out of the box yesterday, so that's why I'm not completely sure. And it's uh, just got a ruffled at the bottom, short sleeve, scoop neck. So, oops, I lose my price list. Um, yeah, just a regular tee. I, uh, I think I may have something like this in pink, although I think it's long sleeve, so that's kind of nice. Then I got red jeans. I don't know if y'all remember, but I got red jeans from somebody, I think Fashion, around Thanksgiving, maybe? And I sent them back because I just couldn't quite do the color. Plus for me, they were a little bit too tight. Y'all were kind and said they look good. So we will give them another try. Let's see. These have a little stretch, not terribly. They're by Wit and Wisdom. I think I have some Wit and Wisdom jeans, so we'll give them a try. And then by Maggie London Woman, we have another dress. Now this kind of, I think this is linen and navy. 
look at the top. It's a, it's a wrap, but look at how it's a scalloped edge wrapped. That's really a nice detail. The back is pretty plain. Yeah, the back is pretty plain, but it is, watch for dogs before I back up, but it's a midi length and it's got quite a bit of volume in the skirt. Not as much as a striped one, but it's beautiful. Really, really like it. I like both of those dresses. Those I was most excited about those. Then by Halogen is a navy blue top and a fabric that's mm, not crazy for. It's very crepey. But look at the design on the top. Let's see. You can see it well. And it's all around the sleeve. So it's very pretty. And you know, it's a color I like, navy blue. So uh, they're tempting me to buy fabrics that I don't really care for. Okay, so the last clothing item is by One State, and it is all jacked up here. I, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do flat. It's a wrap top, and I was really excited because I thought it was a cotton wrap because I've had one of those in the past that just it was a nice, feet, nice weight of cotton, and it, uh, you know, uh, it wraps and then the belt goes back around to the front, and the one comes from the other side, and it, and it was really nice. It was beautiful the one I had. And I thought this was that, but this is definitely a crepe, a polyester kind of crepe, which, uh, I don't know, I'm not as crazy about the fabric, but I will try it on. See, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> and then there were shoes, three pairs. Okay, so I have stuck my foot in these shoes because, as you know, I don't usually do the shoe try-ons because they just, for me, they just look crazy when I do them. They just, anyway. They're not much to look at, I guess, in shoe try -on. So, I've tried them on. These, I actually wore from the sewing room into the other bedroom, back to the sewing room, because I really like them. I think they're super cute. They are by Bella Vita. And they actually looked fairly good with what I'm wearing today, had I decided to wear them, but I didn't. Um, I don't know, I felt like when I walked, Okay, see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my foot, right? Every time I walk, it went like this. And I did trip once in them. And my husband told me, why are you walking so weird in those shoes? And that if you're going to walk like that, don't buy them because, you know, they're an accident waiting to happen. So, I don't know. Um, by the time I try these other clothes on, I'll probably have tried them out again. Maybe I'm just not used to them. I'm used to like a flip-flop or something where something's between your toe and you feel like you have hold of it. And in these, I just, I felt like it was moving around. Um, so, but I think they're super cute. I'd love to keep them. I think I'd like them even better though if they were in a dark denim because most of my denim shorts and such are in a darker denim. So anyway, I do love them though. So I don't know what to do with these. These are a size eight and a half, which is perfect. That's what size I like to wear is an eight and a half. When I get nines, they end up being too big after I wear them a couple times. If I get eights, sometimes they're not comfortable. So the next one I got, also Bella Vita. I think they're all Bella Vita. This is a beautiful slide. Love it. It's black. I think it's also an eight and a half. Yes, an eight and a half wide, actually. And I don't even wear wides, but, uh, or not that I know of. <laughs> Maybe Nordstrom's knows something I don't. But I considered these shoes. However, they have this one thing going on I can't do, and that is this right here hits right at the nail bed of my big toe on my right foot and hurts. I have a really hard time with peep toe and things like that. Anything that comes right here, I can't wear them. And these did that. So sadly, I can't wear those. Then this pair, ooh, the clothes I want to go for this one, apparently. This pair, my stylist made a comment about, I know you don't like wedges. And, and that's, I must have given that impression. It's not that I don't like wedges. I just don't ever find any of that work. I think these are super cute. They're navy. Are they an eight and a half as well? These are a nine. Um, 
but this was just too tight around my foot. I have an issue where the arch of my foot swells up. I take a diuretic, and uh, which then brings it down, but then it swells up and it brings it down. And at the time I tried them on, they were a little... I don't know. I don't like that look of like it looking like a sausage. You know, it might start out fitting in the morning looking good, but afternoon it looks like my foot's a sausage stuffed in its casing. Uh, but they're very cute and this did not hit me there. This is just a little further back or something to where it did not hit that nail bed. Oh, probably because they're a nine, so probably my foot may have gone up a little more. Uh, this part of the shoe here, what is this called? This is the sole, right? I don't know what this is called. Anyway, it's really slippery and I always have like lotions and stuff on. I could see me falling in these. I like them. If they were shorter and this wasn't an elasticy thing or it was in, just in the back, not in the front or something, I could probably do it. But um, I think I would slip and fall in these as well. So, you know, I'm not the young chick I used to be that wore spiky shoes and stuff. So. Well, those are my items from Trunk Club, and I do need to get them tried on. However, I have to leave in a moment to go to my mom's house. I am her IT department when her computer gives her trouble, and she needs me. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to go out for Chinese food. So happy Father's Day, everyone, because <laughs> that's what today is, Sunday, June 16th. Uh, but I'm sure I'm not going to get these tried on until sometime in the week. Trunk Club's very nice at extending for me. <laughs> It's a lot of items and I want to do it right. So anyway, I'm going to quit babbling so that this video isn't as long as uh, Trunk Club videos tend to be. Okay, I'm starting with my least favorite dress. Ignore my hair. Um, no shapewear or anything. Um, out of the three, this was my least favorite. But you know what? I think it does show curves nicely. Uh, that's one thing going for it. It's comfy. I thought it was going to be too heavy because it is a knit. It felt kind of like wintry or something. But it's ill-fitting for me up here. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> you can see way too much bra. Not just like down here under the armpit, but way up here. Now, yeah, you can wear a black bra, camisole, bralette, something like that. But <clears throat> I don't know. The shoulders feel just a little funny. How they, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain. But they don't feel quite right being this kind of shoulder. I don't think they necessarily look bad. They just, I can feel them. It's weird. But um, the neckline's a little higher than I like, but it's, it's a doable neckline. It's, you know, it's not here. But um, anyway, like I said, it had all these things that I wasn't sure I was going to like, but the dress is very comfortable. I would even say it's, from what I've seen of it or what I can feel of it, I think it's, you know, a high quality, well-made dress. But this is definitely a, um, <clears throat> a no kind of happening right here. Okay, when I first saw this dress on the preview, I wasn't sure if it was going to work because of the split hemline in the front. Um, I didn't think I would, would like it. I don't really like that kind of thing necessarily. But actually, this comes up pretty high. It's not really showing off a lot of above the knee like I thought it would. It feels good right in here. Now, I'm only able to use my guest bathroom mirror right now, so I don't know if this dress is going to be a keeper or not yet. I'll have to try it on again in my own bathroom. It feels a little bit big here, but I can take that in or deal with it. Um, it's not so big I don't think that's going to come open or anything. It's kind of a navy blue linen and it's very comfortable. It's got on the outside where my arms touch it, tiny bit of itch factor, not a lot, a little bit though, you know, a little rough because it's linen. But it is very pretty. Look, it's got the scalloping here <laughs> as well. All up in here. And uh, it's a beautiful dress. I'm not sure if it's right for me. But uh, I'll see shortly. <laughs> this was my favorite dress pre-try on. Oh, it has pockets. Now I'm not so sure. Um, first off, this big thing back here. I can't deal with this. It's a lot of fabric and it's heavy. So I don't really care for that. But I can probably get that 
changed. And then this has a lot of this. So I could take that in, but it sort of changes the way the whole top part looks. And then I think, well, maybe we could pull it up. That blue dress that I tried on, the solid blue one, after I filmed this, I went like this, and it looks so much better just pulling it up a little. But anyway, um, I like this dress a lot. I just don't know that I like it on me. But um, when I get in my own bathroom with the long mirror, and I can, you know, pull it up, crimp it up, see if it's workable, then I'll decide. Because I really do like the looks of it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a nice dress. All three dresses were nice. But this was the one I was most excited about. And it, again, has this fit like the, I don't know, all of a sudden I'm having this underarm issue with dresses. But here's a close-up of the fabric. It feels really good. Sort of a slick kind of cotton. Okay, the first thing I can say about the blouse is make sure if you're going to wear it to work that you have set your alarm with plenty of time to get it on because this thing's complicated and it gets all twisted up. I almost gave up on it. I think Fredo's was going to rip it because you don't know how much of the belt to fool through. It's strange. <laughs> I actually had a shirt similar to this and a pretty stiff cotton, a really nicely made cotton and it was white where this is more off-white um, that I really liked and this is crepe and I just I don't think it's for me. Okay, the pants. The pants, I can't see how they fit. Again, I'm at the little mirror, but I can already tell that they're not going to work because they're pulling down on me. Not too bad a crotch drop. Well, actually, there's not so much crotch, crotch drop, but there is extra fabric, but it doesn't droop down. But when I walk around, it kind of does, and it pulls down. It makes these, you know, go down. I had them pulled up a bit, and then in walking, it went right back down. And I got all this, and mm, I don't think so, but you're seeing it before me, sort of. <laughs> but anyway, I think these two are, are not going to work out for me. So, next. All right, let's look at the detail on this. It's very pretty. Like up here, down here, navy blue, but it's that polyester crepe fabric, and it's just, I'm not wild about that. But it is pretty. If it were in another fabric, it may be a little flowier because it's not a stretch material. When I sit down, it might bunch up a little. No, I think it's okay. I think it's just big enough to be okay. But if it was flowy, it might be better. If it was another fabric, it'd be awesome. But, so, let's look at the next item. Okay, next top has these flutter sleeves and a v-neck. A pretty deep v, actually. Um, and it is rayon. Although I initially thought it's probably a poly blend because it just felt that way, but it says 100% rayon, has no stretch here. Um, if I sat down in it, I don't know. Um, I just don't think it's flattering to me. I think it's cute, but it's not flattering to me. It's almost, I don't know, it, like it tries to spread way out, and I look better if the, it's a little tighter here, a little closer to my neck than, like a boat neck kind of looks so hot in but I look better in a halter neck. So I don't know if that's it. I kind of brought it in, shifted it a little. It seemed a little better, but I think the sleeves just look terrible on me. But anyway, you know what? There's a lot of things in the trunk, so on to the next. Here's the pretty neck detail on this one. Uh, I think this one's too small. It's not, it doesn't have any looseness at all. It's just, I feel trapped in it. The neck is too high for me. I feel trapped in that as well. But yet, even though it seems kind of tight, it's got the underarm wings going, like the ones when they're usually too big. So, see this one's a, I don't know. I just don't think this fits right. And it is another, I believe, poly top that's, you know, not that exciting for me. The final top is more or less a t-shirt. It feels very much like a t-shirt and it's got the same kind of collar as a t-shirt. The sleeves, though, are a little fuller than a t-shirt, and of course, it has a peplum bottom. It's very soft, very comfortable. I like the color, the style is cute, although I don't know if the peplum's hitting it quite the right spot for me. 
might look better if it was up or down. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll try it on in the long mirror, but for now I'm thinking I need to reserve my judgment on it. What do you think? Okay, I am back with my trunk items all tried on to tell you what I am going to put on a hanger and what's going back in the trunk. I'm not going to pull the big old trunk up here. But um, let's start with the dresses because they were definitely my faves of everything in the box. Um, yeah, they were definitely my favorites. So first one on the pile, I'm just going to take them in the order of the pile, is the navy blue linen. And uh, it is lined at the top. I don't know if I shared that before. And I'm trying to remember if it was lined at the bottom. Yes, but it's the line that is caught in the hem. So that's nice. It's not separate. When I first saw this in the preview, I thought it was going to split above the knee and show more than I wanted to. And that it would be inappropriate like for work and, and stuff. But as it turns out, it does not. Then I had to remember, oh, wait a minute. That's a model that was... <laughs> In that she's probably 5'10 or 5'11 and I'm not even 5'7 anymore I'm in the low 5'6s now apparently that's what my doctor says um, so it didn't fit that way now if I keep this which I am it's going to go on the hanger um, I am going to have it altered I'm going to have it pulled up somewhere at the shoulders so that it um, pulls the dress up you know when I when I tried it on I may have put my hands and lifted a little and that looked a little better but then when I lifted it like three inches it looked really good <laughs> so and it didn't really affect the hem length much so anyway first item on the hanger will it have a power will it be the only item on the hanger what do you think next item is the striped dress navy dress with pink and blue stripes it's that I call it a hard cotton. I don't know what it... Wait a minute. I'm going to check the tag. Well, what do you know? It is rayon, polyester, and spandex. The lining is 100% cotton. It's beautiful. I love it. I just don't think that I would wear it. And mostly it's because of the big tie on the back. I talked about maybe chopping it off. But I don't know. It's a gathered thing. I was going to... Maybe chop it off and then just have a button where it buttoned in the back. But after I got it on, I don't and looked in the other mirror, it just looks like a party dress, like a I don't know, you like you wear it to a wedding or some event like that. And I just don't have an occasion for it. If I did, I would be all over it. All. Um, but it just it's not a work dress. It's just it's a it's a step above that. Plus this just I think would look kind of weird at work. So. That makes it a summery and it's like a casual dress up dress like a wedding that might be outside but anyway i love the dress if i have an occasion that comes up and i think this dress would work and they still have it i will purchase it from nordstrom but i don't think i'm going to purchase it at this price thinking that i probably won't have an opportunity to wear it i just think that would be a terrible decision but I do like it. I think it's a great dress. If you're looking for something like this, it's comfy, it's cute. Give it a try. Never hurts to try it on, right? So first item in the trunk. Next is the, is it Zach and Zoe dress? Or Nick and Zoe. Um, I actually like this one better in the longer mirror when I saw it than I thought I would, but it's got the weird stuff at the, the wings here. I don't, all of a sudden that's showing up on me. I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, it's a little bit heavier weight. It's a knit, a little bit heavy, but it's not real heavy. Uh, it would be fine in an office, actually. <laughs> but And I thought it was flattering, the rest of the body, but uh, no, not with the wing thing. And it's a knit kind of thing, like a sweater dress, sort of. So there's no way that it's going to be something that I can alter or fix that little wing problem. So another one in the trunk. Next is the blouse. I think I knew before I tried it on that I wasn't going to like this. I've had this style of blouse before in a cotton, in a heavy cotton like, or whatever it was, kind of like that, that dress there. Um, but this one is in the crepe fabric and I'm not wild about it. And it really was tedious to get on and 
you know, not that I wouldn't do it, but it's very pretty and it's definitely dress up. It's probably a little dressier than work. Um, the color I think is supposed to be light. Um, it's just made by again. One state. One moment. Okay, they call it soft ecru. And in in this light, using that ring light, halo, whatever it's called, it does look pretty white. But it, like when I was in the bathroom, it did not look white. But either way, I think I would wreck it. And it's $79 and I don't know, I don't think it's for me. Well, the tag's $79. I don't, I don't remember what the price was. But anyway, it's going in the trunk. Next is the navy. Now, I think this top is very cute. Even though it doesn't have sleeves, I, I would prefer sleeves for work. Um, I really like it, but it's that poly crepe again, and I don't know. I, it's got to be just a tiny bit more flowy if it's going to be that fabric, so that if you sit down, it doesn't cut you off, because there is no stretch to it at all. And at $59, I don't think so. I don't think I would get. I don't think I'd get the wear out of it. It's very nice. Um, I think if I was a smaller hipped person, it might be better, but I'm not, so it's going back. This one, I didn't like the way it looked on me. It's surprisingly a little bit heavy for this type of blouse, but, um, and it is rayon. It feels poly, but it says it's rayon. All right, I'm all screwed up on which way it goes. Yeah, it goes this way. It has a little dip in the back, too. I just didn't think this looked good on me at all, so it's going back, but the fabric is pretty and I like the color so I'm a little surprised this didn't look good I mean I think it was too big I think that was part of it so next is the black kind of crepey top although this may be a natural fabric not let's see what this is yeah it is rayon I kind of thought it was it's a crepey that crepey rayon um, but I think this would have to be sized up but I wouldn't do it oh I got it backwards I wouldn't do it anyway because I think the neckline is too high for me. It was kind of bugging me. And uh, if it was a size larger, maybe it wouldn't. And maybe it would have a little more flow at the bottom. But I'm afraid after sitting, I would just have those um, creases from the sit line. And I don't know. But it's cute in concept, just like the navy blue. I like them both in concept. Okay, next is the t shirt. The blue t shirt. I like the color. I. I like the peplums. I mean, you know, it depends on where they hit. This one's only $35. But, I don't know. I have a lot of t-shirts and I think I have a pink one with a peplum, so I don't know. Maybe I'm too old for peplums. Sometimes I don't get excited about them. Sometimes I really like them. But I think I'm going to send him back too. The red pants, not a good fit. So they are going back. They fit better in the legs and a lot of pants that I've tried on and anybody who's watched my other videos knows that's true and it didn't have as much it didn't have any actual crotch droop but it had bunched up fabric between the crotch and the waist and then it made it kind of pull down in the back which I've learned to live with a bit but as I walked it pulled it down to where they were I was getting a I don't know diaper butt I don't know what it's called where it's all saggy in the butt so that didn't work but the legs were close and I really like the feel of these and they're very nice nice quality so anyway so it looks to me ooh, almost through oh and the shoes aren't going to work the um the two heels I just don't think I could walk in those I just you know I'm not the most well balanced person when it comes to walking and I think I might hurt myself in those shoes now the short ones the flat ones uh, if those were in a darker navy, I think I would like them better. I do like them a lot, but I think I'd love them in a darker. And actually, I might have to size down because like my husband said, I was walking weird in them. And I think it's because they felt a little big, a little slidey. Plus, you know how shoes like that typically will stretch out a bit when you wear them. So I might go to, we have a Nordstrom's rack, so I don't know if they'd be there. I don't really have a Nordstrom's. There's one over the bridge and in the big city. Um... Uh, I could go there and, and check it out or I can just let my stylist know and maybe she can send them in a different color of denim and a smaller size and see if that does work for my next trunk club is two months away because I only do every other month which would be August but <laughs> that's still that kind of shoe wearing around here in Florida it'll probably be warm till December usually so my one item on the hanger I'm very happy with it 
and uh, I'm going to see about either getting Nordstrom's or some other alterations pro person. They may tell me they can't do it because they don't want to take the seam apart and put it together, yada yada. And if they do, then I'm just going to flip it and sew it. It's not perfect, but it will work. I have done it before. Uh, not my first choice, but hey, what's a girl going to do? Oh, and by the way, it's linen and rayon, and I love the way it feels. Not quite as wrinkly as is linen, but it still, I think, is going to wrinkle a bit. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you will give me a thumbs up, and I hope that you will subscribe to the channel. And for those of you who have been subscribers for a while, thank you very much, and I appreciate your um, support. See ya.